Bye. You like your foot getting tickled? <laughs> Sadie's out of it. <laughs> He's on. Well, we got down to dirt back here. So that'll help this uh, thaw out a little quicker, hopefully. So we have a uh, a little bit more parking over here. We still got this big amount of snow off the back of the tack house here. That's kind of a tunnel going down through there. That's kind of neat. Butt boy. Butt boy. Nice and chilly this morning. Everything's hard as a rock out here. But um, it's supposed to warm up next week, so we'll probably see uh, the snow melt get back going again. But I'm just glad to be down to the dirt back here, so that'll help that dry out even quicker. A couple weeks, we'll have a nice, uh, nice good area back here where we can kind of tuck everything away and uh, start creating some room. And this is the uh, Knob Hill remodel that we uh, were working on last year. We uh, saw cut the driveway here, ran a new water line. You can actually barely see where we poured that concrete, but it was right there. We saw cut that, hooked up the water. Right now we're, uh, the plumber's over here. He's, uh, how you doing? How's it going? You good, man, how about you? Oh, another day in paradise. Yeah, you know, you got better now. Much better now. It's getting right? better. Yeah, so he's going to fix up this hot water, this Insta Hot that we got going on here so we can pass inspection. And then uh, we'll get back over here and finish up the drywall for them. And we'll, that'll be our scope of work will be complete. We did all the rough, all the rough stuff here. So. Um, the owner's going to do all the finish and the tile and all that kind of thing himself. So we're just going to finish up the drywall, get this thing signed off, get our gas signed off. And, uh, we got the water and the sewer is hooked up. We got this cabinet here for the, uh, for the Insta hot. So we can mount that on the exterior and, uh, should be good to go here. So as you can see, it is a little tricky with all this snow. But got to kind of climb up here, and uh, we were able to uh, dig this out the other day. You can see he's got the supply lines there. And we're gonna get that cabinet mounted and uh, get that thing all hooked up and call for inspection, and. Our work here should be done. All right, so this is over here at Timmy's place and uh, he's got the RV parking over here on the on the side here. And you see that, that pole with, that's the, that's the propane tank. So basically the idea here is we wanna start right here and come straight in, basically outside with that, that pole and we're gonna start bucketing. <clears throat> and we'll we'll start out and we'll set like one, two, three, like four buckets, like all the way out here. Start that, and then we'll start throwing them over the top so it kind of holds it, and we can stack it up. And we're gonna put as much of that material right here as we can. And then if there's some left, we could probably put like four or five buckets right there up against that. And then whatever's left, when we get back to the bamboo stake, we'll just push that back a little bit past the stake, maybe about four or five feet past the stake. Mm -hmm. So uh, so we do hauling and junk removal as well. And we got a call yesterday on this property. It was, uh, it's been recently sold, changed hands, but you can see the previous tenants kind of left it in a shambles. 
we're gonna send the guys over with the dump truck and the skid steer and we're gonna clean this thing up uh, but I was looking in this garage yesterday and it's it's got quite a bit of cleanup in here so we're just gonna clear all the junk off the shelves and you know throw everything away that I mean it's not salvageable obviously some of it is some of it would be actually be pretty cool to uh hang on to and we, we'll probably do that we'll hang on to the stuff that's uh worth keeping and uh I think we'll go ahead and leave that washer right where it's at but we're gonna get all this crap all the stuff off the shelves um Yeah, that table is not worth saving. Um, any of these chairs and stuff that's in good shape, we'll keep. Uh, that little fridge, if it's good, we'll keep that. Um, this little exercise machine here, might hang on to that. The ski poles, any of the skis, the bikes. We'll clear these shelves here. And then out here on the outer side and there's an old vintage sled that has i think there's two sleds here that have to go i'm not sure exactly where uh they're both at but there's one that's right there so we got to get that out and we got to clear this room here we got to get all this stuff out so that's the goal is to uh we're gonna bring the bucket up here with the skid steer Oh, almost went down right there on that. Wow, that was that was close. So we'll pop this ice and snow and bring a couple snow shovels, clear that back to where we can open this door. And uh, we'll get everything out of there and pretty much everything out of here. A little stormy out. today whoa dude wow i can't believe how some people drive around here it's a joke it's absolutely a joke but anyhow you can see that cold weather cold weather coming over the hill so we just got over here to Snow Creek 8. This is uh, a new development. They're gonna open this up. We're gonna start getting ready to put some infrastructure in over here. And uh, first, first order of business is gonna be uh, cutting this road in back here in the back. So you can see where that road actually was. See where it was before? You can see the tracks right here from a long time ago. So we'll probably peel this rock up right here and just push it over to the side. You're gonna cut this, cut this road back around down to the fence line. Okay. And then you're gonna follow that fence line all the way down to that corner post. And you wanna go about two buckets wide all the way down. Okay. All right, the LVL cut and stack coming together here guys are working on doing this last little fill area right over here so we'll get all that uh dialed in and then be ready to sheet this thing hopefully in the next couple days Okay, so we got Brian over here. He's cutting this road in that we talked about earlier. Looks like he's uh, making some progress here. He's down to the dirt, which is what we were looking for. We get it down to the dirt and uh, just work his way back.
So we'll leave him to that for the next few hours and see how that goes. You can see this weather today. It's moved in or moving in and uh, it's cold, cold and windy. Okay, so this, uh, this railing, this log railing has come apart over here and uh, they want this repaired. So he wants to try to reuse the uh, existing materials here. They're in pretty bad shape, but I'm pretty sure we can uh, reuse them. Probably gonna have to bring the excavator over here and uh, use that to like raise them up and get them up, get this vertical one standing back here again. And uh, maybe we can figure out uh, a way to secure that, re-secure that to the wall here possibly using some of these plumbing straps like what they did here I think we'll probably try to do the same thing and uh, we'll get this thing standing back up and put together and uh, keep the rustic authentic look of it we'll just reuse this old stuff and uh, he didn't want to do anything new here he wants to reuse the old stuff so that's what we're gonna do all right we are over here at the junk removal job. I'm gonna take a look at how the guys are doing over here. How's the junk removal going? Yeah, we're definitely keeping that hose looks good but uh yeah they made some pretty good progress so far what a mess it is literally 33 degrees out this is like may 4th here and I mean, it's cold out there. The wind's blowing. It's snowing off and on. I mean, it feels like winter's just now coming on. It feels like we're just coming into winter from the fall. But you can see, I bet you it's real cold up there on top. But we're pulling in here to Canyon and uh, just making our rounds. Well, yeah, that color definitely dried uh, quite a bit lighter. So I'm gonna have to find the, uh, I'm gonna have to color match that to make it go away. But other than that, it looks great. And uh, it's definitely good as new. If you're up in the Sierras, and you're looking for solar, residential or commercial, definitely need to contact Sierra Solar. All right, so this is what's left of our beams. I need two six by 12s, 10 footers, which looks like that's gonna be them right there, and a five footer, and that's gonna be that top one. I'm gonna have to move this truck, grab the forklift and get those lifted up. Get these beams in, and then we can start running the other rafters. Chewy's out back, finishing digging those out. So much snow still. Building our rake wall. Getting this all finished up before we come over here. We're gonna set three beams right now. We got a, like a five footer right there. We're gonna have a ten, two 10 footers here. One in front, one back here in the back. And then then we'll be able to come over here and run these, run this side. 
of all their rafters. I'm gonna go downstairs, get the beams, get them on the forklift, get them loaded up here. We got Chewy out back still. Finishing digging out the rest of our rafters. Got everything warming up. Ben called and said that we we have a cleanup to do today. So I'm getting the machines all ready. Take the skidster over. Take the dump truck. I think we'll have like uh, four guys. Get those beams lifted up real quick. Get all the equipment oiled up. Free step, I should say. Get this out, staged and ready. So about noon, everything will be ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. So I'm trying to get the skidster out and all the back runoff is coming right here and puddling up. You can see all the, the flow of water from all the melt back there is just coming through here. Puddling up, causing a big mud pond. And then filth and then a going out the back right there slowly but now this is a uh, quite a sinkhole give Ben a call and see what he thinks man I don't want to cross that may put some wood in it probably call Owen have Owen cross it <laughs> uh that's about the smartest thing to do. Yeah, that's that's not good at all right there. It started snowing, man. Yeah, I know. It started snowing again. Yeah, but it's good. It's good, man. So Antonio's got the box put in. He's got the tankless water heater put back in. Now he'll start plumbing it up. Are you going to be ready for morning inspection, Antonio? Mm -hmm. You're going to be ready for morning inspection? Yep. Sweet. Yeah, that looks good. So we... We cut the concrete in here. We built this, framed the wall, did the plumbing. This is an ADU, accessory dwelling unit. Here's where the plumbing is for that tankless water heater. We turned this gentleman's uh, garage into a an apartment. So, yeah, I'm doing quite a few of these right now. Wow, it's snowing. All right, we got all of our <clears throat> two by sixes undug. We got, these are our other LVLs, 22 foot rafters. The ones that are gonna go up on this side here. Uh, this is our under stack. This is gonna be the, the lower roofs. Here and here, here. Uh, so two by tens, dug fur. Got those out. There's a few more right there. Looks like you found a bunch more four by six. And over here, we have some uh, three by twelves. And I believe there's more behind that. So.
You tired of shoveling snows, Chewy? Yep. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Me too. All right, we got everything cleaned up, swept out. We got this side done. Everything's cleaned up. Got that classic pulled out. And got all this stuff over here. All right. So I got a little fun, fun time trying to put this, uh, this little thing here together and about a quarter of the way through so far. See if we can get it done in a reasonable amount of time. No, oh, somebody lost a collar. Hey, bring that here. Sadie took Bud's collar off. She's trying to do it again. Hey, don't do that. Okay, so today's mission is shelving in the garage because we have so much stuff, we gotta make some shelving. So Mike and I got some material, he's cutting it. We're gonna build some shelves just out of plywood and two by four. I'm out all right. Where'd Sadie go? She don't like this gun, huh? I don't know. There Where's she is. Sadie? She's right up there. She don't like the gun. She's like watching. It's just a nail gun, Sadie. <laughs> it's not a real one. So that's the the idea with the shelving right there. And then we're gonna sheet it on top of the piece of plywood. We got some four by four posts that'll go floor to ceiling here. And we're gonna do three shelves. One, two, three. That should give us quite a bit of room to uh, pack stuff away. Gotta give us some room. So off that cleanup job that Alex got, you know, those are our paddle boards from Robert Surfboard out of Ventura. Those are actually custom paddle boards he made for us. He doesn't even make paddle boards really. He mostly does surfboards, but uh, he made these custom paddle boards for us last year. That was, uh, I think I got, that was Lori's birthday present last year. But I wanted to show you guys the old vintage, another vintage sled. So we have, I think we have three of them now. Or I think we're about to have four because uh, there's another one over at that place buried under the snow that we have to get. This one here, it definitely ran when it was parked. It still turns over good. It actually acts like it wants to fire up, but you can see the last time it was tagged was uh, 2000. So, uh, change of, uh, change of hands here you know the people that uh sold that house i think they used to have a lot of fun up here back in the day and you know now she's selling the house and uh moving on okay so got some sweet shelves built 
They uh, took us a few hours, but pretty simple design, and uh, but it's gonna work great. It's gonna create a bunch of room in the garage here, and uh, just what we needed. So we're, uh, we're running these SDS right here in through there like that. Just one at each post is gonna be more than enough to hold any kind of weight that we put on these shelves. So it's a real simple, simple design. Don't overthink it and uh, gets the job done. I think we spent about $480 on lumber and we have enough to do another set just like this for our other garage. So for 480 bucks plus a little bit of labor, we have 16 foot long by two foot wide by almost, ten, uh, almost eight foot tall, right at eight foot to the top. Oh dude, he's coming with us, coming this way. Everybody says I'm crazy, but uh, this was out of our uh, junkyard find. And these are a couple vintage lawn chairs. This one's actually got wood handles. I thought that was really cool. I'm like, I'm gonna keep those. Do not throw those away. The, the, this one just reminds me of my childhood. Like I remember my parents, grandparents had lawn chairs like this, exact same color guarantee you this one's from like the early 80s right here maybe late mid 80s but i can remember vividly as a child lawn chairs that color and then this one's even older it's got the wood handles 
but uh and then i even saved this uh this old jan sport but everybody says i'm a pack rat but i just the story that these things have to say i mean this one even has a an old tag from lax so who knows where this one's been and this is from san diego here but just thought that was cool wanted to share that you can see sun's out it's uh starting to be a nice day finally and uh friday afternoon been really cold the last couple of days but uh Hope you guys enjoyed our last couple of days here in Mammoth. Uh, I'm gonna get this video out here shortly. And uh, don't forget to check out the My Patriot Shopping Club. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. You guys check it out. If there's anything in there, um, I'm sure there's a lot of things that you're buying from the big box stores right now that you can replace with this American made all organic natural product. And uh, trust me, you won't regret switching on a lot of these products it's it's a better product and it, you're just gonna feel better about you know about what you're doing you're you're uh it's all it's all natural it's all organic it's uh, a lot of the poisonous things that are in some of these cleaners that they use these days at the big box stores um you know and it's american made so you're spending your dollars locally and uh you're basically fighting back against uh, the corporate greed. So check it out. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer in it. I use all the products every day. I've switched over, you know, most everything that we use is now done through, you know, the My Patriot Supply. So um, you guys gotta really check it out. Um, anyways, enjoy the video. And as always, thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next one.